I have this like stark imagery in my mind when I left. So I, I was living in Israel Mirali a few years ago and was living there alone and, and for many reasons made sense for me. Many reasons made sense for me to come back. And in the process of doing so, I flew through Rome. And um, when I was in the airport, lo and behold, this huge airport, I'm walking and walking and walking to get to the terminal from Rome to New York. Where do I end up? At the end of the terminal with the most security, right next to the El Al check-in desk. And I said, Hashem, this is funny. Yesterday I left Israel crying, and now you're putting me here next to the people that are sitting here for three days to get on a plane back to Israel. They were, they were begging, they were sleeping in the airport. And I, my heart like was like, for, but I knew I was doing what I had to do. It wasn't like even a question. Like I knew, I mean, I thought for a moment, like maybe I'll go try and get on that plane. But I just turned to one of the, <clears throat> One of the families there and I just said to them in my little broken Hebrew, just like, you're going to like you're going to the real deal. Like I'm I'm just just pray that I get back there. And it was, it was such a crazy moment to like think like that we really are people that think like that, that that we don't more people went into a the war zone than in normal times. It and is it, it's, I think we say that it's not normal. The, the country's population grew yeah. by three percent. What country when a war breaks out, their population grows?